In a house in a back street of Jerusalem, there was a little servant girl. Her name was Rhoda. She stretched out her arms and gave a big yawn. I can't go to bed yet, she complained. The house is full of people all praying, and praying must be thirsty business. I've been fetching drinks all night long. Rhoda sat on the floor, and to keep awake, she reminded herself why everybody was praying so earnestly in the next room. Poor Peter has been put in prison by wicked King Herod, and all because he was a friend of Jesus. Everybody is praying that Peter will be released from prison. They want Peter to be set free. She yawned. I must stay awake. She yawned again and closed her eyes. On the other side of Jerusalem, in a dark dungeon, Peter was falling asleep too. But he wasn't very comfortable and neither was the guard he was chained to. Every time Peter tried to stretch his arm, the guard's arm stretched too. Oi! Keep still, you! grumbled the guard. Hey, we'd like some tip too. Quick, Wrigley! moaned the guard. Sorry. Sorry. Apologised Peter. I'll try to keep still. Goodbye. The men settled down to sleep and soon they were all snoring. Suddenly Peter was woken by a voice whispering in his ear. Psst, Peter, wake up. Peter jumped. What? Who? He stammered. Peter looked up. He was dazzled by a bright light. He couldn't see who was talking to him. Get up, Peter, get up now. The voice urged from the light. Peter stood up and his chains fell to the ground. He rubbed his wrists and looked at the guard still asleep. He was confused. Then the voice spoke again. Hurry up, Peter. Do up your belt and put on your sandals. Peter was flustered. Why? He asked. Where, where are we going? Just put on your cloak and follow me, instructed the voice. Quickly now. Peter followed the voice and the bright light. The man, or was he an angel, was leading him through the dungeon, up some steps, through a door and out into the street. Peter shivered in the cold night air. He tried to speak. Thank you, but, but where? He then looked all around him. The man, the angel, had disappeared. Peter wondered to himself. Is this a dream? No. no. He thought. It's cold outside and it started to rain. Peter hesitated for a moment. Right, I know what to do. I need somewhere safe to shelter. I don't want to be here when the guards wake up. John Mark will take me in. I can hide there for a while. So Peter set off quickly through the dark streets to his friend's house. When he got to the house, he knocked softly on the door. Rhoda woke up with a start. Uh, oh, what's that? Someone looking? Who is it? She crept towards the door and called. Who's that? Peter answered. It's me, Peter. Rhoda screamed. She was so shocked that she ran into the other room where everybody was praying. They looked up, surprised at all the fuss. Come quickly! She stammered. It's knocking the door. Peter is here. Quick! Don't be silly, Rhoda, John Mark snapped. We must have been dreaming. But Rhoda insisted. No, I heard his voice. I know I did. Then they all listened. Now they all heard the knocking. It might be his angel. He might be dead, John Mark said nervously. They were all scared, so they huddled together and crept slowly to the door. They opened it very carefully. Hello, said Peter. I'm getting wet out here. Can I come in? They pulled Peter inside and made a great fuss of him. They wanted to know how he escaped from prison. Rhoda listened to his story and laughed with all the others at his ex exciting escape. She then hurried off to fetch Peter a nice hot drink. I'm so glad Peter is here with us and out of that miserable prison, she thought. Then she added, Thank you, God, for listening to our prayers and answering them so quickly.